morning everybody it's thursday i'm out here working up some ground to like plant got all that done so far and i gotta work my way all the way over I'm trying to let some of it air out let it warm up it's supposed to be nice this weekend the first part of the week call for a slight chance of rain tuesday but i don't think we're supposed to get much but it's supposed to be high in the 70s so it's getting ready to be go time. Just starting to get some ground, rework, let it air out, dry out, heat up, and be ready to go. So I'll be on this, this tractor pretty much all day long. So it's day, uh, I don't know, what is it, day 35 of the coronavirus? And if you get it, it must be bad because if somebody finds out they have it on a Friday, by Sunday you did. So, I hope I don't get it. I don't know how else gets it. I hope this shit just ends. I want this mess to be over with. I mean, it's really, really messing this country up. So, I don't know. It's just, I've never seen crap like this before. Now, I think there's been not 5,000 deaths quite in the U.S., but they're talking about within the next few weeks going to jump up to 100, between 100 and 240,000. I mean, that's a big, that's a big different number right there. I mean, that's a lot of deaths in a short span, so I just hope and pray everybody gets safe and this shit gets over with. I still think China or the Democrats had something to do with it, but you never be able to prove it. So, everybody have a good day. Well, it's Friday. My brother's been hauling corn. I'll come into the grain here to help him. I'm gonna do one load. I got a lot of, a lot of trucks in here I'm trying to get loaded and they ain't got so many spouts, so. I'm gonna do one load to help him. Ran out of fuel at the farm, farm fuel, so hopefully they'll bring that up there so I can get back to distant. I just did pretty much all day yesterday. I don't know how many acres I did, but it had to be a lot. It was a lot. We got a lot of farm stuff. I think I went to the nine o'clock last night. It started at eight. I think eight. Seven thirty in the morning until nine. I mean, I'm steady rolling too. We got a lot of farm. I couldn't believe how much I actually got done. But you can take a big disc and a big tractor and you can make some time up with all this gear. I mean, you can get a lot, lot done. So, now I'm sitting here waiting for them to come in and wave me and loot me so I can haul all over for deal. Just wait. It's gonna be one of those Fridays. And it's cold. Oh, here he comes. All right, everybody, see you. Loading. First load of the day and last load of the day. That old black girl, she don't look too bad for 97. Sitting here in the Bobcat 320D, John Deere 320D, waiting for the seed guy. He said he'd be here at 9.30, so hopefully he's just about here. It's Friday, it's pretty windy out. I don't know if you can see the wheat blowing. It's windy out. I don't have much fuel left in the track. We got the fuel company coming up to put fuel in the tank day like 456 of the coronavirus deadly coronavirus so but if you go around town you think that nothing's going on there's people out everywhere driving i don't know maybe it's just a major city or something where there's so many people who knows but anyway boring one good thing, the wind blowing so hard that at least it's drying the ground out. Worked up the farm, was kind of wet last night. Hopefully all this wind uh, dried out. I had some wet spots, so I figured I'll let the wind dry it out and then work them back up a little bit more. Other than that, it's boring. Boring. And it's, it's not cold, but it's not warm. It's just too cold to plant, I guess. I don't know. That's what I need to do is go on eBay and try to find a uh, uh, 
temperature gauge for, you know, soil temperature gauge. So I can see what the soil is. But it's probably still too cold. I did work up some sandy ground. I probably had to plant the 100 day corn before I can plant the 75 day corn. The way it seems. So, who knows? I'm still playing the corn and bean though. Still getting two crops up there one farm. Two crops are coming up that one farm. I'm gonna try it. Now if it stays windy like this and wanna warm up, that ground will dry out pretty. I can get planting. Now the sandy ground I I did, you know, that's gonna warm up sooner, but I mean it turned out real nice. I could probably plant that anytime. Because it's supposed to be in the 70s, I think, Monday and Tuesday, I'm thinking. So I could probably get some in there. But, that will we'll see. You're taking delivery of some beans. Wait, you'll see, just look into the light. Back in the distance, getting some ground, letting the air out a little bit. Two inroads on it anyway, but I'm going to do four or five passes. That's what we normally do every year. We've got a lot of land. i got to work up everything you see. We're calling corn today. we got all of our seed, our soybean seed, and all of our corn seed. Box after box after box after box after box all the way on both sides and what we do is we plant these plenish beans they're actually cheaper than a regular bean and they pay you 50 more cents at purdue for them a bushel i think they were eight dollars a unit cheaper than a regular bean and they they're they uh like i said these are here the four sixes we do the four six. last year we did four eights they were our best yielding bean but it took the vines forever to get done and we planted the the four sixes um were our second best yielding bean and i mean they got done dry real good this year we're trying the four twos are there four sixes where's four where's four two that four two four two four six four six four six four six, four, six. there they are there's the four twos and uh they really did good, and I mean, with the 50 cents premium, a bushel they put on them, it makes sense to do it. There goes my brother. He's hauling. Hauling some corn. He's rolling, ain't he? Got his big Peterbilt moving. He's probably happy. With the coronavirus, there isn't that much traffic on the road. So I'm sure he's tickled to death. You're doing a good job, Alex. You'd rather be it in there and here because this shit is rubber and hell. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, 7 or 6 in the morning. I'm going over to work up some more ground. I'm going to go to the farm I previously worked up. It's still a little chunky. I had some wet spots in it. I'm going to hit them again. Um, Work up some other farms coming down the back road. There were two farms. That's what's nice about the camera right there. You can see the cars coming up behind you. But, uh, and hopefully tomorrow, next week's supposed to be all in the 70s. So, tomorrow will be a good time to get my farm planted. And then, hot weather will pop that seed right up with moisture in the ground. That's what the plan is. Unless I get overridden. Probably will, but it's stupid what we need to do on this farm. Uh, wish me luck. Hold on for a second. We're getting coming up to a stop sign. Anyway, if you like the video, make sure you hit subscribe. It's free and give it a thumbs up. So, I want to get
get back to work. Have a good weekend. Be safe.